everyone. Um, <clears throat> today I'd like to demonstrate uh, what to do. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but uh, I have it quite frequently when it comes to photographing birds. And that's being able to get the bird exactly where you want it to be in the frame. Uh, you know, birds uh, can be there perched for one second, and next second they take off. And you try to respond as quickly as possible, but yet sometimes it you don't respond quick enough and you end up with a bird that isn't um, composed in the frame that you, way that you'd like to. And today I'm going to show you how to deal with that sort of situation. Here's a photo that I shot um, recently uh, down in McLennan County of a scissor tail flycatcher and it was on that perch right here. And uh, by the time I got a click off it was way over here and I'm sure many of you have experienced the same issue in the past yourselves and think well pretty useless well actually not so I wanted to use this video to show you how to deal with this now everything I'm doing <clears throat> I'm doing in Adobe Bridge and in Photoshop and uh, I have Lightroom I never use Lightroom I don't particularly love Lightroom uh, but that's just my preference so here I am in Adobe Bridge. I have the image selected and I am on a Mac and I am going to hit Command R to open it in Adobe Camera Raw. For those on a PC, you would hit Control R, I believe. And there's our bird and beautiful little bird, um, but not in the right place. So we start here and I'm going to make some adjustments uh, to get this image uh, to look the way I want it to. Um, And I'm adjusting the color, the saturation, and uh, just tweaking it a little bit until I have it where I believe I want it, which I think I do. Uh, now this was done in this basic adjustment area. I'm going to come here to the lens correction and click on remove chromatic aberrations. I'm going to click here to see if I have a lens profile, which I do. And then this is our sharp area, sharpening area. And I'm going to hold the Alt key and create a mask. And I just want that mask just around the edges of the important details. And then I'm going to apply the luminance to reduce the noise. I find usually around 30 does the trick for me. And when I've got everything basically where I want it, I am going to open the image. And now this image is going to open up in Adobe Photoshop. <clears throat> And here we go, waiting, waiting, and there it is. Now, um, again, this is strictly going to be on just fixing this bird and getting a little more space around it. There's other things I could demonstrate, but this is just going to be on this. Now, what I'm going to use uh, are a couple things. I am going to use the crop tool, which is here. And the very first thing I'm going to do on the crop tool is I am going to come up here and I am going to click front image so that I make sure that I've got the proportion of this image the size and such now that I've done that I am going to come over here and grab the corner and begin my recomposition of this bird and as you can see I've actually slid off of the actual image area because again, I am trying to fix a problem, which in this case involves adding more canvas area, giving the bird space and area to look into. And when I have it the way I want, I'm going to double click. And there's my there's my uh, final crop. And you see I've got light blue here, and, and I have the, the, the background that actually existed over here. Now what I'm going to do is come up here to this uh, square marquee rectangular marquee and I'm gonna click on that I wanna make sure that my feather is at zero and we're gonna do something here where we're actually gonna find the edge and we are gonna draw this box around it and now I have marching ants surrounding this blue area that I want to be green next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit the delete key on the keyboard and when I do that we pull up this fill content aware dialog box 
and there's the settings color adaptation opacity 100 mode normal and i'm going to click ok and if everything goes right content aware is going to analyze this image and drop in green and there we go now i have the same looking background around my entire bird now i'm going to hit command d to remove the marching ants in a pc control d and there we go we got a good composed image so there you go folks if you ever want to fix a problem like that that's exactly how you do it thank you very much